Welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So what's in this video after the Valentine Day? So in this video I'm going to show you how to run any program under a directory using a sudo. We all are familiar with the sudo command that using the sudo I can delegate a particular command to a particular user. But in this video I'm going to show you a very small trick on how to give a control on a whole directory using a sudo. Before I start, I'd like to show you a couple of things that I got on my Valentine Day as a gift by my girlfriend. And I think now she loves me a bit. Taking the amount she had spent on me, a bit, not full. I don't think she loves me full. She loves me a bit. I'll show you what I had uh, received as a gift on this Valentine Day. Woo! First thing is that I had this new decal of Mitsubishi on my car. Then I had upgraded the stock air filter to the performance air filter of this one. So that means more air into the engine and more combustion and more power. And other thing I had done is that I had changed the headers this one these are the headers to the new performance headers so I'm getting a more power somewhere around 10 to 15 percent increase in the power of my Mitsubishi so let's come back to the videos so in this video I'm going to show you how to run any program under a directory using a sudo again you know friends that I have a virtual machine here for you so I have a user here Alok let me show you I have a user here Alok and I want to delegate some commands to him using the sudo. Traditionally what we do like suppose I uh, go as oh sorry I log in as Alok here and if, if I try to run like sudo slash as bin slash fdis hyphen l it will prompt me for the password I give the password because I don't have any entry in the sudo file so I've, I will not be able to access or run this particular binary under the folder of sbin that's great so what I what can be done I can just log in as root I will go and in, in, into the sudoers file and here I can write down under the root right I can write here alloc all say I uh, say slash sbin fdisk so that can be done now if I go here and I do a su alloc once again and I give the sudo the command is run I am able to execute the command because the entry is obviously in the sudoers file but the problem here is that I am only able to run as bin fdisk suppose I want to run say dumpy 2 fs command so I give slash as bin slash dumpy 2 fs slash dev slash sd1 this command is actually being used to uh, get a hell lot of, inf of information about your file system so I am trying to execute the dumpy 2, 2 fs command of the sd1 partition let me check sorry because I am not authorized to execute this command so what can be done I, I, I can go back again I go back to the sudoers file and I need to put up a comma here sorry then I need to put to put up a comma here I need to write slash as been slash dump e2fs so it is actually a pain in the neck if I need to give say 10 or 15 commands those are uh, residing under the as been folder so it's very difficult or I wish to give all the commands which are residing under, under the as been folder to the alloc so it is really a difficult job to keep on giving all the commands say hundreds of commands by like this so the easy way out is that it's a very easy way out remove everything just give a root and give as been slash make sure you end it with slash means this means that alloc is authorized on all the machines to execute all the commands those are residing under the sbin directory a slash here means I am giving 
the control delegation on the whole directory not on a specific binary so that slash makes all the difference friends I can tell you this now see it here I come back again I log in here again as root if I try to run sudo slash as bin fdis hyphen l wow but look if you remember there I had just specified the folder name I had not specified any binary still I am able to use the fdisk and the beauty of the thing is that I am still able to use this dumpy 2fs so I am just giving you an example so means I as a alloc a user can execute all the commands or all the programs those are residing under the specific folder so that really makes your administrative job very easy and one more thing you need to remember is that that the, that the delegation will not be given to the subdirectories only on that absolute path name so that single slash makes all the difference friends all the difference like I can show you like a dumpy 2 fs can be used for a very uh, beautiful things I give a pipe less you have a lot of information here available like coming up here the file system table the like the state and all the things you can have uh, it also gives you I'll show you when the file system has been created look here it should be somewhere here file system created oh 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 or I can check for the, look here here it is created means I had created this virtual machine of 19th of October at 1307 hours 2010 obviously so by just giving the absolute path name in the folder in the sudoers I was able to give all the commands to this particular user which are residing under the slash as in folder so that really makes my life easy so instead of writing the commands individual commands so that is a very easy and effective way to give control delegation to a particular user or otherwise I need to write like this though I'm not writing here alloc all slash as bin f disk comma as bin dump e to fs comma slash as bin like this mii tool so it's really difficult so instead of this I can just make this as a absolute path name appearing in the in the sudo but you need to make sure that you actually wants to give control onto the whole directory or the subdirectory so I hope you like this video thank you very much see you again soon in the meantime I am going to enjoy my ride in my Mitsubishi bye take care God bless